tell you, lose the Mars as well. A disaster of a fight here from Infamous as Pepita surrounded by the entire Thunder Predator lineup. A nice Walrus Punchy pops the Rage, trying to get away, has a phase boots in a couple of seconds, but they have a Storm Hammer. What can you do? They're gonna be able to hold you down. Another kill going the way of Leo saw the God Strength as well. You trade for the test, but it ends up being a six for one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate to see it. Uh, unless you're a Thunder Predator fan, my god, was that clean. Pepita, very questionable. Ravage as they uh, try to disengage there. You know, he started that team fight out so well. He hugged the wall over here, forcing the Pango roll to push him up the cliff and uh, survive because of that. Then hits only one hero with that Ravage on the back line. It did absolutely nothing there. Yeah. And Thunder Predator, they're just going to play aggressive now. Matthew has had such a great game on this Tusk already. He's he, he had that beautiful save here in the mid lane on that Queen of Pain, right? Just snowballing her to the outside of the arena, keeping her alive. And then a second snowball protecting Sven from the Ravage so they can just reinitiate. And he targeted the Enchantress on top of it. So he just gets her right on top of him, pops that tag Radiant's team, and just boom. Instead of uh, having a potential fight from Infamous, it's just Thunder Predator walking over you. Lane, they're gonna catch that tiny Woo, Matthew with the walrus punch. Matthew, uh, yeah, they're just gonna take this tier two tower. Once they're set up here, they have no ravage available. It's gonna. All right, never mind. They do have the fortify, so they uh, they're able to back up. Pepita, he's almost got his lads done. Is that the recipe flying towards it? It is. So that's one thing that they've managed to finish before this next team fight. But uh, Thunder Predator, they just feel so in control of this game. Uh, and I think like some of the solutions that they need are going to come online too slow. This is Battle Fury on Life Stealer. Where are no. Oh, okay, Pacas is uh, rewriting the playbook here. This is actually an older. There was like a moment when Battle Fury Life Stealer was pretty good, um, but this is. I don't think that time. He's just role playing as a Sven, it would appear. I see. God strength, tag team, the lucky <laughs> shot, everything for Roshan. Very easy. I'm just right now blown away by uh, this Life Stealer's build. I don't think this is good. That's just me. I think you want fast attack speed on Life Steal. I think Battle Fury is probably the opposite of uh, how you want to play, but it looks like he wants to take late game against the Sven. Or something? I, question mark? I mean, technically, super late game does favor the life stealer, but you're about to get uh, in a lot of trouble here. He's gonna be able to pop that walrus punch in three seconds. They can get on top of him. The rolling thunder. He is gonna be able to be survived thanks to the arena and the rotation from KXY. He broke Sacred's ankles once again. What a player! That was a sick rescue there from your mid laner. Saving private pockets, I believe, is what that uh, that rotation was called. Mm -hmm. But he, I'm not sure he was worth oh, saving. Oh. oh my gosh, Matthew is just too good. He finds Michael once again. He drops the GD Brands in his face and sets up another pickoff for Leo Stop. Do they have vision here? Uh, Maybe he got a D ward is what happened and then went back. But oh my yeah. gosh, what well, a sick that's, play there. Well, all that's happening, MNZ is literally chasing uh, foxes Radiant's around the jungle. Tower is under attack. He just, he walked over here, stole his ancient camp, followed him as he tries to run back in the jungle, and then starts farming up his area. It Sven's is... Like, Sven's just walking around, he's like, oh, you think that battle fury is pretty cool, and then we'll check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Excel mid lane, not going to be able to survive that. Nice pick off from MDHZ. Just too much, I mean, there's too much burst damage for the Enchantress to really be that effective this game. And Radiant we see this be first phased a lot by uh, South American teams. Last game, it didn't feel that good.